We are in a bayou in Louisiana. Last you saw us, we were in Key West about 900 miles ago. It's one of the things we've done since the last video is we went back and forth to and from the Dry Tortugas, which were actually way cooler than we expected. And here's some footage of that. This is cool. From that point, we made uh, preparations and began our three-week journey north and west to Louisiana, to New Orleans. Jessica's got family there, so we figured we'd swing by and say hi. It took us three weeks to do at a fairly relaxed pace. We saw lots of dolphins, had to do a haul out, and saw a bunch of really cool islands on the way. But it's better shown than said, so here's that footage. We're close? leaving. We ran aground, okay. um, but we got out of it trying to get to right, the town. Good morning, Kira. You got sleepy eyes. And we have my friend Arthur, he's a zoologist. How's it going? He's never really sailed before, so this is all very new to him, but he's a capable guy and we'll uh, show him the ropes. We are at Cayo Costa in the mangroves, trying to get to this more remote beach. And we have to push off branches, and it's really shallow. And I got the baby, and we got the dog. <laughs> the birds are upset. Yeah. yeah. The birds are angry at us. Where are we? This is really insane. <laughs> So this is a beach here at Cayo Costa. It's kind of like a secret little hidden beach because you got to do all that mangrove stuff you just saw to get here and we're the only people we can see for miles, which is pretty cool.
Okay, Arthur's gonna grab the ball for us for the first time. <gasps> Good job. We caught a fish. It's the stickiest of all the fish you can catch. Is it? It's a catfish, right? Uh, yeah, hardhead. Dolphins! Dolphins! Oh, look at this, yeah. There's so many of them. That's a super cool way to start the day. So we're 80 miles from land. We just did an overnight. I think technically we are the furthest from land we have been so far. Oh, what are you doing? So our jack line came out of the uh, pulley up the mast and I had to go up and fix it. Arthur's gonna try it and demonstrate. No, I look like an idiot. I don't think anybody looks cool. So, what do you think of that sky? What do you think of sunset? You're more excited about that microphone, huh? <laughs> we are coming into Dustin, Florida. Want to go to the beach? Yeah. Is it mouse? Oh, goodness. Super soft. White sand. Super soft. Green waters, really clear green waters. What is that bird, Kira? Yeah. Oh, if only Arthur had caught some fish to give them. I know. Kira, is that a baby shark? Oh. You know what I find cool is that she can balance so well when we're underway. And today we got like a uh, two, maybe three foot seas on the beam. Not a ton, but she can still balance even with those, those uh, beam seas. Pensacola. We just anchored and now we're on a white strip of sandy beach. This is really beautiful and unexpected. Pensacola is supposed to be one of the first settlements in the USA, I read. Thank you for the help. How well I did. Target is right there. I was gonna be happy if I hit the beach. <laughs> Some of these were quite close. So we'll be sleeping at a dock tonight for the first time in more than four months. Uh, so we're officially not off grid for a few days. This is basically the end of our journey uh, up here to New Orleans. We're in the bayou and uh, it gets narrow here and the charts are just like wrong. The charts say like five, six feet and then around the corner here, they say three and a half feet. So this is where we're going and it says it's way too shallow for us to get through but uh, so far it seems okay. Definitely getting narrow through here but the depth the depth is good, 12 feet deep. We made it to the marina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Walking around New Orleans. We got some beads. It's not quite Mardi, it's just after Mardi Gras, but there's still little girls throwing down beads for us all. So we are all now officially tourists. We are at Cafe du Mod in New Orleans French Quarter. What are we doing? And we are getting beignets and coffee. Now we're all covered with sugar. <laughs>
Right. So that gets us to Louisiana. We our original goal was New Orleans. The marinas there were twice as expensive as the marina here is. It's a well, it's a unique place. So we have our own dock. Doesn't look like much, but if we wanted to stay here longer, we could kind of fix it up, revamp it, and make it really nice like this one. At the end of our dock, we have a yard of sorts. How many marinas do you get to go to where you have your own dock and a yard? Not many, and this is for the low, low price of like $250 a month. We can also park in our yard with our rental car here, and we are all of 30 feet from the boat. Which for a cat like us, we're usually on the tee head at the end of a long dock, so this is the king of convenience. So we have a fair bit of privacy here. As you see, we have an awesome view that overlooks the bayou. Hardly anybody around, just a couple boat neighbors there, and a couple there. And you can actually see New Orleans in the distance over here. Being in the bayou and swampy area, there's lots of really cool nature here. One of the things we have is river otters, but they're uh, kind of elusive and they're really, really hard to film. I've never even seen an otter on the eastern side of the United States before, so this was really cool to see. Uh, them swimming around and uh, trying to steal people's bait out of their bait buckets. But they're very difficult to find. Just poke their head up every now and then. Less elusive are the gators. There are gators here, as you can see this little one sitting right over here. We've started learning fishing here. We're still noobs, but you gotta start somewhere, right? The water here is brackish water, which means it's a mix of salt and fresh water. The uh, tidal change is just like an inch or two, so there's really no current or hardly any tide here. But what's really cool is that there's almost no barnacle growth. So the pylons here that have been here for years have like maybe one or two barnacles on them, which is great because I'm not going in this water to clean the bottom. What else have we been up to? Kept working a full-time job writing software to make money. We installed a city water inlet, which means... It means we can run the water in the boat without having to run our water pump. No water pump making noise. And when we do want to fill up tanks, we can actually fill the tanks up from the city water inlet, which is super easy. We also installed our first round of solar panels. This one is old and came with a boat and barely works, but it does do a little bit. And these are all the new ones. Puts out about 250 amp hours a day under ideal conditions, uh, which is enough to offset our average use case on a sunny day. But we're going to double it probably at least and build a solar arch over the dinghy uh, so that even on cloudy days we can still make a really respectable amount of power. Uh, we'll do that all later and I'll have a way more in-depth detailed solar video when we do do that. I also built and installed these dinghy davits sheave things to keep the uh, new dinghy that we got from getting discolored anytime it sits against the stainless davits for a prolonged period of time. It works really, really well. We installed a 120 volt outlet outside so that when we're doing boat projects, we don't have to run extension cords through the salon to do power tools outside. Here it is, water resistant. So it doesn't have to be exactly waterproof where we are right here in the cockpit, just do a, a little bit of water resistance does the trick. We bought and installed a cell phone signal booster. It's kind of like a sail. We put it up the mast and it needs to point towards the cell phone tower. So we have two trim sheets basically on it that we can use to control its direction. And so far it's worked really, really well. Before putting it up, we had barely any signal right where we are right here in the bayou. And after putting it up, we have full signal. So hopefully here and then around island where the cell phone signal is weak, this is going to be a uh, really big uh, convenience for us. We also insulated and redid the V-Birth. This was the V-Birth. This will be Kira's room. Right now she still sleeps with us, but when she's ready to sleep alone, this will be her room. And right now this is her playroom. This yeah. is where she can come. And it's very quaint 
and baby E. And now that it's fully insulated all around, her toys are way less likely to mold when it gets hot and humid and muggy because this room will stay a lot drier. And I added uh, new lights to go too. Like you like your room, don't you? Now we are in our hall. We've done a little bit of work to the bathroom. Not a ton of work, but I'll show you what we have done. Try to hit my head. We still need to finish the ceiling. Actually, look outside in the bayou first. Bayou might not have clear water, but it does. You get the best glassy water here than I've ever had anywhere else. Almost perfect reflections. So in the bathroom, we have built a cabinetry underneath with only temporary handles right now. I have real handles, I just haven't had time to put them in. And some shelves in here too, uh, to keep things from falling out. And then also on this side, this is baby stuff. And we also use this side for the baby changing station. Ultimately, just like all the other cabinets we built, we're gonna put uh, nice new veneers on, like uh, new boats have. This is a work in progress. It's not currently hooked up. It's gonna vent outside with blowers, but it's a instant hot water heater that runs off propane so that when we want to or need to, we can just have hot water like that. Now you're all caught up. So the plan is that we will leave here in a few weeks and we'll start heading our way back around Florida and then do the East Coast this summer while we still fix up the boat and kind of get the last finishing touches before. The plan is to go down island next winter but with sailing the word plan is probably too strong a word but um that's the idea so thanks for watching this video and we will see you in the next one <laughs>